guys, so we're back here talking about the Observe IR binos again. So just to kind of, you know, put it into, I guess, description of how these can help you in, in traditional non-night hunting um, forms. These are obviously great for any time of night hunting you'll do on the, because it's got a full thermal channel. So whether you're hunting, um, you know, obviously um, uh, wild hogs or you're calling in predators, you can use the thermal and you can use that exclusively all day long. It's got the built-in thousand yard laser range finder and you use those like any monocular or binos you've had before. The biggest advantage here is like if you're doing any type of white-tailed deer hunting or elk hunting or anything like that. So when you're hunting certain types of animals in certain geography, um, a lot of that is line of sight hunting. Whether you're hunting mule deer and you're trying to separate those out from the whitetail, anybody that's kind of hunted whitetail versus mule deer knows whitetail kind of like the lowlands and, and mule deer like wide open spaces um, where they can kind of see predators coming from a distance. So you can still glass all day long like you would with your normal 10 by 42s, but you'd be surprised how much you miss at those 500, 750, 1000 yard, 1200 yard distances with your standard glass, your standard digital channel, just because animals are naturally camouflaged. The big advantage here is I use my 4K and I glass distances or hillsides or open fields like I would normally with my 10 by 42s, but I've got this backup. So I flip over to my thermal channel and that's where I pick up a heat signature up on a hillside somewhere that I just missed after I'd been glassing that hillside for however long. Um, and then I can, once I've identified where the animal or group of animal is, I can then flip back over to my digital channel. I know exactly where I'm looking for them. And then I can begin to zoom in. I can take pictures, I can record, and I can kind of see if that's the, the buck we're looking for, if that's a mature um, animal that we're going after. And then I can actually use my laser range finder, figure out my distance to the target. And then you can kind of work your way and spot and stalk and try and get in where you can make a good shot on the animal. So that's what kind of makes the observes a little bit different than traditional thermal or even thermal LRF binos is you've got that full 4K color channel that makes it like your daytime optics as well. So if you want to know more about the ins and outs and what all features it's got inside, we've got a full Observe IR video that you can find on the channel. And uh, yeah, take a look there.